group of 100 Flint families boarded buses bound for Washington, D.C. They plan to protest tomorrow as the congressional hearings get underway. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville was there as they left tonight. He joins us now live from Flint. Aaron, tomorrow will be a big day for these families. You said it, a very big day. Those buses left here around 7 o'clock tonight. Heather, they won't reach D.C. until sometime tomorrow morning. Also tomorrow morning around 11 o'clock, there is some sort of prayer vigil led by the Reverend Al Sharpton. They want the world to know what happened to Flint. This is my hair and this is the water. Armed with toxic water and hair that's fallen out, Gladys Williamson and other Flint families are making their way to D.C. tonight for congressional hearings on Flint's water crisis. Flint lives matter. Flint lives matter. And so here we go. Story after story boarded these buses, including one surrounding Tammy Lawrence's family. Her 12 year old son fighting a rash, her dog now dead, she claims all because of the water. It's emotional. I mean, you know, we, our kids are sick. You know, people are dying. Inside that pipe is this. The water, of course, still haunting residents to this day, like Jeffrey McCormick, claiming the tainted water did this to his pipes. Not to mention he got hit with a $600 water bill for the last two months. Meanwhile, the former emergency manager and the governor will not testify at these hearings. Him not being there and early not going, that just screams their guilt. In Flint, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.